Hi, in this problem we're going to find the limit as x approaches 2 of this rational function. So let's go ahead and work through it. So the first thing you should always try when trying to evaluate the limit is to take this number and plug it in. So if you do that, in this particular problem, you end up with 2 minus 2 on the bottom. So you end up with 0 on the bottom. And that's not good. You can't never, you can never have 0 on the bottom. So we need to try something else. So here's my idea. So this is the limit as x approaches 2. And so the first thing I'm noticing here is that we have a 2 minus x on the bottom. And also that we have a quadratic in the numerator. So we probably will be able to factor the quadratic. So because um, there's a 3x squared here, when we attempt to factor this quadratic, it's probably going to look like this, maybe 3x and then x, because 3x times x is 3x squared. But that means that on the bottom, we probably have to have an x also, not a, not a 2. So what we're going to do is we're going to factor out a negative 1 from the bottom. This is negative 1 times, so what do you multiply by negative 1 in order to get negative x? x. And what do you multiply by negative 1 in order to get 2? Negative 2. Then you can do the same thing here because you know that this problem should work. So that's a good first guess. So that's why I did the bottom part first to show us that this is probably going to work. So let's write it down and then we'll check it later. And now we need two numbers that multiply to positive 2. So a negative 1 will work here because negative 1 times negative 2 is positive 2. Okay, so now let's actually check. This was all just, again, it was all just guessing. I figured uh, because there's an x here, there should be an x here, so we factored that out. And then we thought, okay, well, good guess is that we're going to have a minus 2 here. And if that's the case, we have a minus 1 here. So now let's actually perform the mathematics to check. So 3x times x is 3x squared. That part's easy. Negative 1 times negative 2 is positive 2. That part's easy. What about the negative 7x? Well, the inner and the outer should give you the negative 7x. So this is negative x, and the outer piece is negative 2 times 3x, so negative 6x. When you add these, you get negative 7x. So yes, it does check, and boom, these cancel. So this is the limit as x approaches 2, and we're left with 3x minus 1 over negative 1. At this point, we can go ahead and plug in the 2, right? There's no funky stuff going on. So putting a 2 where the x is, we drop the limit sign. Remember, whenever you plug in the number, that's when you drop the limit. When you evaluate the limit, that's when you drop the limit sign. So this is 3 times 2 minus 1, and it's all over negative 1. This is 6 minus 1 over negative 1, so it's going to be 5 over negative 1, so that's negative 5. And that would be the final answer. Kind of a nice problem. Good luck.